Morning, so we're here early outside uh, Avon Plating Services. Dropped all this stuff off for uh, them to make it all nice and shiny. So yeah, it's about mm, 10 to 7 I think. So yeah, I've been bringing yesterday, so yeah, leave a pallet out. We'll chuck it outside the gate, at least so I can get back and we can do some more. Anyway, uh, my delivery from yesterday. Hmm. Yeah, delivery from yesterday. It was delivered all right. Three and a half miles away from where it should be. Wrong address, wrong postcode, but it still got to me. It was delivered at home. How does that work? I'll turn the light back on. How does that work? Anyway, welcome new subscribers. Uh, thank you for your comments and likes from last night. Much appreciated. So, uh, yeah, we're going to hit the road. I'll put a couple of videos up that Apprentice forgot to send me from her doing yesterday on the uh, clad cladding. So they'll be up, like, next before we get going today. So, uh, yeah, let's hit the road and get on back. See if I can find some fuel a bit cheaper than it is at home. Um, so, yeah, let's get back. Need a cup of tea. So I'm actually up here concentrating for a change. Cab linings. Cutting out new ones. Some more bits done. There we go, there's another one done. Got to tie these some edges up. You would have thought you could have refined some sharp scissors, wouldn't you? Anyway, before we get going anything else, we finally got the light switch apart. Uh, I don't know, there's a lot of green in there. So we'll get some contact cleaner in that and see if we can clean all the contacts up inside it. And hopefully put it back together and it'll work. Hopefully. So uh, yeah, slowly does it, but it's apart. Well, as you can see by me uh, bit of sandpaper, the amount of green that's come out of that light switch. But finally got the thing working. Fingers crossed. But yeah, it took a bit of uh, took a bit of bit of doing, but it's been saved. So hopefully we can progress with that. We'll say seals and gaskets here ready for that job. Well, we got the seal done in the end there. We got this lifted back up and get the bolts in. So yeah, a bit of a job. There, my legs hurting. I fell over this morning. I hurt me knee. Look at that. A big cut there. Feels like I've got a cramp in my leg. Never mind. Let's get the bolts in this. You having fun down there? Yeah. Yeah, that's all right then. Come on, where's the rest of the bolts? I'm trying to reach them, right? Well, you put, well, you put them over there. Why well, didn't they move? Oh, yeah. Blame me. Why not? So we've got that on. We've got this uh, cleaned up, ready to go. And that bit down there. So we're trying to get this lifted up into place. Hopefully it'll all fall together. Just nicely. Oh, that was a faff to get in with a stack pipe and that, but it's in there now. So we nip the bolts up and get the stack pipe put, connected up the top there. But yeah, it seems to be everything's in the way, but it's back in place. You know, it's gone past lunchtime. I think you better go and have something to eat. Just been trying patience, has it not? You're just there watching at the moment, aren't you? <laughs> Supervising. There it is, Friday. There we go. We'll get this uh, somewhere near sensible, hopefully. But yeah, not a lot of room. At least we can get all the rest of the pipes on. Get the cross shaft levers on. Prop shaft on. And we're somewhere near there. Well, chipping away at it. I'm just putting the prop shaft back on. Prince is doing there, busy doing the last of the fittings and that for the uh, gear pump on the side. So we'll keep plodding away. Slow and steady. Trouble is, I'm uh, man down next week. After Gosto and look after the kids. Well, Prentice is in there giving it a good going over. Trying to get the last pipes in. Bit of a faff that one. You've got to get the top union on first, then the other one with a banjo bolt in through the bottom. Without forgetting the spacer washer in between. Hopefully, it's still on there. It's no. not now. You've just dropped it. Yeah. Okay, where did that roll? The other end of the workshop? Uh, it's here. Oh, you got it. Yeah. That's the right there. Good job you're smaller than me, because I wouldn't have got in there too well. Get in there. 
produce more light. No, I need some warm man strength. <laughs> <laughs> oh, here we go. <laughs> Legs up for a bit of extra leverage. <laughs> <laughs> So we had some cubs dropped off today. The magazine come with it. So I thought I'd have a good look through, see what deals there are. And I found Graham the perfect Christmas present. There it is. I reckon he'd love that. So we're nearly there. We've got it to fill back up with oil wipe the floor over we'll leave it for the night and see if anything shows if nothing we'll put the diesel back in put the wheel on just check the few bolts underneath job's done fingers crossed uh yeah fingers crossed anyway on that note it's friday it's over at near o'clock prentice has done well this week had a laugh had a giggle uh, she's off now till, well, she might be in next Wednesday. Obviously half term for her kids, so, uh, yeah, I'll be Billy No-Bates. So let's see what we can mess up next week. There you go, never mind. Catch you in the morning. Oh, morning, Saturday morning. We've got here unlocked and the lights are on. Well, we just turned them on. Moment of truth. Let's go and have a look at this here Ford and see if we've got any leaks. It's been uh, 15, 14 hours. So let's have a look, see what the floor's like. Well, here we go. Uh, that's looking dry. Brilliant. Can't see any spots of oil there. That's just dirt, that's not drops of oil. We've done something right. It seems to be dry. Whoa! Let's turn the torch on and have a look this side. What we got? Nothing. Dry. No puddle of oil. That's about as clean as I left it yesterday. Happy day. So we should have a couple of bolts to sort out and get the wheel on. Hopefully, that's the job done. Well, there we go. We've got to fill up with diesel. Bottom tank's now full, no wet spots on the floor, and we've got the wheel back on. Must be I'm struggling a bit this morning, after my uh, little tumble yesterday. My uh, leg's not quite right, so I ain't doing too much today, but I just wanted to come down and get this one uh, put to bed and wrapped up. The floor is dry, just started it up, and we have a leak. Who was the last one in here, I wonder? That was Apprentice. Oh, not very tight, that one. Uh, good job we started up and checked it. We'll tighten that one up. Come in. 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 After doing the steering ram on this one, it was leaking. I well, better start it up and make sure it works. So, uh, yeah, fire it up and the steering does work. Well, that's alright, and there's no leaks. Even better. Give this one a little start up. Turn like a dream. I've been starting it a long time. Sounding pretty. Again, waiting to do some work on this one. I don't know when. Everybody else wants their stuff doing, so. Well, we've got this 1250 here, waiting to do another day. Let's see if this one fires up. Is he in gear? Ooh. Look at that. Nope, I think this one's on the starter. We've got this 1250 mics here. 
Let's see if we can get this one to fire up. I haven't been started for a while. Go. Fire it up. Things all right? Okay. Gonna need some work. Oh, got it. Yeah. Potential for another day. Again, I'm started for a long time. The first one I ever bought. The same way I've got a set to keep them in, but there we go. So yeah, she's up and running. Bit of life in it. It was about 10 years ago. Oh well, yeah, 10 years ago, next April I bought this. Looking a bit of a state. Probably get it out and give it a clean up, but yeah, it's still okay. Not bad for me first effort, but I think I've come a long way since then. And finally, we've got the last one started. I think the starter motor is on its way. He's taking a bit of going to get fired up, but she's running, thankfully. It's a relief. Again, haven't been started for a long time. The battery's uh, taking a good charge. Oh yes, the steering works. Happy days. Oh yeah. I didn't think I was going to get it going. There we go. Well, all four have had one in, and one over there, five. I think I do for the morning. I'm going home. And there's another one started. Another 12.50, we got one more to go over there. That'll be everything started today. Ooh. Ooh. There she goes. Purring away nicely. So there's only been one that's been a bugger to start. This one. Bit of heat and up she went. Even run a bit, get a bit of life back in the battery. Got to do the last one. Again, I haven't used this for a little while because everybody leaves stuff in the school, but never mind. Let's see what happens. See if it fires up. Oh, oh dear. Oh. There we go. Stop in. There we go. Uh... No, we're in gear. Right, let's try that. Fired up nicely. Go there for a sight. 450. 1200. This is, uh, there was 50 built after this one. So this is a uh, late 79. And some of the linkage on the back is uh, pretty close to what the 1250 is. folks busy day yesterday uh yeah thought i'd start everything up make sure it's all working uh but yeah thanks for watching i'm gonna have a quiet afternoon because i'm a bit achy after my little fall yesterday not thinking what i'm doing while i'm walking about never mind anyway as always thank you for your comments and likes welcome new subscribers and anybody new watching this rubbish that we do and uh yeah click the old like and subscribe 
where it is down there. Drop us a comment. Don't cost you anything, but be much appreciated. So uh, until Tuesday, have a steady weekend, and we'll see you then. Laters.